we're going to talk about comparing fractions. We're going to use the symbols for greater than, less than, equal to, and not equal to, and we're also going to use those in words. When we compare fractions, your fractions might have like denominators or unlike denominators, and I'm going to show you how to compare those types of fractions. The two fractions we're going to compare are one-fourth and three-fourths. The one and the three are your numerators. That's your number that is shaded. Those are your pieces. And then the four at the bottom, that is your denominator. Those are your total pieces. Okay, so when we compare, the best way to compare is visually. That way I'm actually drawing the fraction so that I can see see the fraction that we're working with. So I'm going to draw a circle and break it up into fourths. For this fraction, I'm going to shade in one piece. And on this fraction, I would shade in three pieces. Okay, so now I'm comparing these two fractions with like denominators. They have the same denominator. It's both a four. That means when I compare them, I'm comparing equal pieces. Okay, so I can see that one-fourth is less shaded than three-fourths. Okay, that's why drawing the fraction or representing the fraction with a model, these are your models, is better because sometimes if I'm just looking at my fraction, I don't know which one's bigger. So you always want to represent it with a model. So these are like denominators because the denominator is the same. When I compare, remember your symbol, the open mouth wants the bigger number. So three-fourths is my greater fraction here. When I read it, you read from left to right. It says one-fourth is less than three-fourths. Now, we said we were going to use symbols, but we also said we were going to write those symbols in words. So when I compare, this would be less than. Now let's compare two-fourths and four-eighths. This time, my denominators are unlike. That means they are different. Okay, now immediately looking at these numbers, which one's bigger? I'm going to need to make sure that I draw my fraction, my model fraction. So I'm going to draw my fraction for two-fourths, four pieces, and I'm going to shade in two of those pieces. Now I'm going to represent my four-eighths. One, two, three, four lines. Gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. And I'm going to shade in four of them. Now that I'm looking at my model fractions, I can see that two-fourths is half of this circle shaded. And four-eighths is half of this circle shaded. They're equal to. Okay, that's my symbol. They are equal to, let me make that a little bit straighter. Okay, two-fourths is equal to four-eighths. And I can easily see that when I draw my fraction. Our last example is also an unlike denominator fraction. So I have two-thirds and three-eighths. They have different denominators. I cannot tell which one's bigger by looking at it. I'm going to go ahead and draw my fractions. This is what I want you to do at home. I'm going to break this up into thirds, and I need to shade in two pieces. One, two. Okay, now this one I'm going to draw. I've got to have eight pieces, and I'm going to shade in just three of them. One, two, three. Okay, so when I look at my fractions, I can clearly see that this has got more shaded in than this one. Now, sometimes you're going to get a fraction that's going to be difficult to draw. Maybe if your denom denominator was 
fifths or sevenths. So I'm going to show you something called the butterfly. Okay, this is when you are going to cross multiply. So watch carefully. I'm going to circle this numerator and this denominator, and I'm going to multiply these two. Okay, 2 times 8 gives me 16. Then I'm going to circle these two, and 3 times 3 gives me 9. Okay, now, when I look at that, see it looks like butterfly wings, when I look at that, 16 is larger than 9. Therefore, when I draw my symbol, this is greater than 3 eighths. Now, I already knew that because I drew in pictures. I want you to draw the pictures. And if you haven't worked out your multiplication skills yet, then don't do the butterfly. Okay? And we'll go into how this works later. But this definitely will give you a way to check to make sure that you have done your fractions the correct way. And it is much easier to use the butterfly if you have denominators like fifths or sevenths. That's hard to draw. All right, so two-thirds is greater than three-eighths. Let's compare these two real quick. Two-fifths and three-sevenths. That's going to be hard to draw. We're not going to have a hard time making these equal pieces. You can do them in rectangles when you draw your fractions. That'll make it easy to see. I'm going to show you the butterfly real quick one more time. Okay, so 2 times 7 gives me 14. And 5 times 3, that gives me 15. See how close 14 and 15 are? So if I were to draw those fractions, it would be very difficult to tell which one I did because when we draw, when we hand draw, sometimes we're not perfect when we make it, okay? So I know that 15 is my larger number, so 2 fifths is less than 3 sevenths, and that's how you use a butterfly to compare fractions.